steps that we'll be grilling up. I'll be showing you all my methods on how to cook these things. This was only my second time grilling ribs, but they turned out delicious. And I actually went to Kroger looking for steaks and just like random meats to grill, but um, I saw them for like six bucks for an entire rack of ribs. I was like, say less. So I picked up two racks. We're going to be grilling those today. I'll show you exactly how to do it and how to grill some delicious ribs, but also a couple things I want to say before we get into the video. First of all, if you want to see the video of me eating this on the gaming channel, I'll link that in the description box down below. And second of all, just want to apologize for not uploading very much lately. Uh, work's just been crazy, and between work and my gaming channel, that's like on average like 80 hours a week or so, so unfortunately the cooking videos I'm just gonna have to make like as I have time, so I apologize for that, but the channel's not going away, we are still here, we're still making videos, so let's go ahead and jump on into this one. Alrighty, so we're gonna start out at the grill, of course, get that propane turned
eyes. same process here as the last set. We'll just pat dry them off on both sides. Make sure you get them nice and clean.
Next up, we're going to use our garlic powder. And we'll take a spoon for this one and just... Um, same thing as last, just kind of give it a nice, even coat. So, for these, I like to keep the grill temperature around 325, in, in the 325 to 350 range. And again, uh, do not put the ribs on direct heat. You want to keep them away from the burners that are on as much as possible anyway. are like you really don't have to do anything for ribs just uh, once you have it on for about two and a half hours they're good to go as far as temperature goes you're going to want to get them to around 200 technically done at like 130 to 140 ish but there's a bunch of tendons and other um, I don't know things inside of the ribs that will melt when they get around 200 so they're not like chewy and 
bones will get stuck to the foil, but man, these turned out great. You can see just scraping the meat right off the bones. Yeah, these ribs were delicious. I'd say the most challenging part is getting the seasoning just right, and then um, after that you want to make sure that uh, the grill stays within that temperature window, 325 to 350. It's very important that you monitor the temperature. Thank you.